Hello, it's Allison Graham from Resiliency Ninja, and it is Storytime Sunday, when I'm going to read through to you from my book, uh, Married My Mom, Birth the Dog, How to Be Resilient When Life Sucks. If you don't have your copy yet, please go to your favorite retailer. You can order it online, the print or ebook version. And uh, if you love it as much as I loved writing it, please share it with your friends who are going through tough times or just want to figure out how to have great success. So where shall we read today? Just do a little. <laughs> oh, I like this. All right. I like them all, but this is fun. Chapter 14 is turning sticks into sinkholes. There's a big difference between the obstacles, true adversity, and everyday stress that most people face. Each of these challenges resides on a sliding scale of hurt and frustration requiring varied approaches to overcome. Synonyms for stress include pressure, tension, worry, anxiety, hassle, demands, and strain. Synonyms for obstacle are barrier, hurdle, block, snag, deterrent, disadvantage, hindrance, or complication. Synonyms for adversity include misfortune, hardship, disaster, suffering, misery, trauma, accident, crisis, catastrophe, and burden. See the difference? The catalyst for each is varied. Stress is largely driven by your internal interpretation of outside influences. Obstacles are actual barriers in your path, but are within your power to choose whether to conquer them or simply bypass them. True adversity is a negative, often tragic, external force that's completely out of your control. The only aspects of adversity that you can influence are your perspective and your recovery. So imagine you're walking along a path in the woods. An example of stress in this scenario would occur if it started to rain while you were walking and you have to return home early without achieving your desired di goal, distance goal. You may be disappointed or even soaking wet, but the world is not crumbling. Let's say you come upon a stick blocking your feet. Is it an obstacle on your path? Sure. Is it adversity? Nope. In fact, Winston would just pick it up and start chewing it like in a tasty snack. Sometimes people treat little sticks like thick logs, towering cliffs, or raging floods when they're really just sticks that you can pick up and move out of the way. As you're walking along the path, an example of adversity might be an earthquake that collapses the ground in front of you, causing a dangerous sinkhole that's impossible to cross. Your world has changed and you need to make major adjustments like building a bridge over the sinkhole before continuing your hike. When true adversity strikes, it's important to prioritize time for healing and responding appropriately, as we'll discuss in Chapter 15, The Toughest Stuff. Stress is a result of your un unrealistic expectations you place on yourself. It is rarely caused by a specific task. It occurs because you choose not to control your schedule effectively and try to do too much in too little time. It's easy to get overwhelmed. There is always more to do what there is always more to do. Isn't that the truth, right? Uh, what causes undue stress is the unrealistic assumption that your to-do list will actually end. <laughs> a to-do list is never finished. In fact, I call it a to-do circle because I believe it just keeps going around and around and around. In truth, while you may believe that everything on your list has to be done, much of it could be delegated, ignored, or tackled in a more manageable chunks. Learning how to master your time and becoming more discerning about what you allow you, um, into your to-do circle will free you from an unnecessary stress. 
And in future chapters, you'll learn how to effectively achieve your top priorities without feeling like you're paddling a kayak upstream against hurricane waves. <laughs> I use a lot of analogies. All right. So I'll stop there. That is uh, on page 71. Okay, so if you want to go and read more about that, I think when I'm doing my keynotes and workshops and, and boot camps with uh, the Resiliency Ninja work, I'm figuring out your stress, obstacles, and adversity and understanding the difference of, between them and the different tools that are required to overcome them is really, really powerful. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the beginning of that chapter and that um, framework. Again, it's Married My Mom, Birth the Dog, How to Be Resilient When Life Sucks. And uh, you can get the book at any major uh, retailer. Definitely come say hi to me over at resiliencyninja.com and on your favorite uh, social media channels. Until next week and our next Storytime Sunday, do I dare say...